Hey guys, what's up? So it's been a second since I've made a YouTube video and I was actually going to, I was planning to vlog today. Uh, so I've got like that first clip of my first thing with, with coffee, but um, in all honesty, I've had like several weeks, but pretty more, a lot more intensely the last week. Uh, just a really horrible bout of anxiety. Um, so, I did some things to kind of adjust my life a bit. I made some changes uh, in order to bring that stress level down, but uh, I'm still kind of recovering. If you're someone who struggles with anxiety, you might know a little something about the anxiety hangover. So that is something I'm experiencing right now. Luckily, it's a rest day from the gym, uh, but I'm, I'm in recovery from my kind of like crazy week and kind of crazy previous weeks. But uh, I just wanted to check in, and uh, off days are what I call get my shit together days. So I just wanna kinda show you what that consists of today. So like on the agenda is just to kinda like organize my life, get myself ready for the week. And I know today is Monday, but weekends are tend to be some of my heaviest days of work. So my getting ready for the week can sometimes just land on Mondays or weekdays and stuff like that. So getting my shits the other days uh, include things like cleaning the kitchen, uh, organizing the kitchen so it's ready to go so I can just like cook my meals with ease and not feel external stress to kind of like add to my internal stress. Uh, so that's one thing. Another thing is uh, doing laundry. So I've got some laundry in here that I need to get to. Um, these are clean sheets that I need to put on my bed that I need to change. Uh, Carly is currently enjoying my bed right now. Um, but she's the reason that, you know, I just gotta clean these sheets because she's the one that makes them stinky, even though I try to make her stay on her blanket. This is my blanket. And in order for her not to steal it and like suck on it and put holes in it, I have to put it up here because these, this blanket used to be mine. She took it and now, uh, now it, it looks like Swiss cheese. There's just holes in it everywhere. Are you proud of yourself? You don't even feel one bit sorry, do you? You're so selfish. <laughs> so yeah, you know, part of getting my shit together is creating, uh, a clean space for sleeping, eating, working. Uh, my workstation's pretty, pretty clean right now. I have gotten into the habit of making sure I go to bed with my workstation mostly organized, and like I wipe it down and stuff like that. But if you're interested, I could show you a little bit more about how I organize all that. But for now, um, just gonna get some of my stress. Oh, yeah, grocery shopping. Uh, cooking off food so that's ready, cleaning out my fridge of any other random shit that is from last week. So essentially, fresh start, get rid of some of the old like chicken and stuff that's dry that I was, you know, too lazy to cover last week. When well, Sometimes laziness is not laziness. It's literally you're just like in survival mode and even the little like tiniest things just feel like you're climbing a mountain. So. Uh, I could probably go into more of anxiety stuff, but it's not really logical things that I can explain. If you're someone who experiences anxiety, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's anything that I said I, I was like anxious about, it would just sound crazy. Uh, but that's the thing about anxiety. It's, it's not logical. Nothing about it is, is logical. And even though I can recognize that, my brain still likes to just tell me that it's the truth, even though it's not. Like there's like two parts of my brain. There's like, here is the anxiety over here telling me all the worst case scenarios. Um, and then here's the logical brain over here that's like, dude, <laughs> chill. That is not even remotely true. Calm down, just be a human, like be normal for a second. Uh, so yeah, I will show you, I'll come back and I will show you how I have gotten my shit together. Hopefully. <laughs> See you in a bit. Alright, so stage one of getting my shit together. Uh, I've got some shredded chicken here that I've cooked up for meal prep. Got a whole 
uh, steamer of rice and then I roasted off some vegetables. Uh, I don't usually like to cook like a whole week's meals at a time because by the end of the week it's pretty gross. It's a little bit, <laughs> you can tell that it's like a week old so this will probably be like three, three days at a time and that's only, so the chicken and rice is two meals out of my six meals um, and then the vegetables are for my uh, my fourth meal of the day. So yeah, it's, it, it doesn't look like a lot of food because it's kind of not, um, I still have, yeah, I have six meals <laughs> in one day on a good day when I can eat because my appetite has been shit lately, but I can go over that at another time. Uh, also, I am washing, washing clothes and just multitasking and working. Uh, super exciting. Hope you enjoyed this update about my chores. Um, I'll keep you posted. <laughs> oh yeah, I also took a shower, so smell pretty fresh. <laughs> we are now in stage two, or the final stage, whatever. There's that. There's not actual stages, I just made that up. But uh, kitchen is mostly uh, presentable, clean. I did do a little bit of meal prep, and I'm just gonna show you how, oh yeah, you know I did meal prep, I showed you. I'm gonna show you how I put it away. Uh, so, pretty simple. I just put it in bulk. I put it away like this. Got some veggies. Uh, rice back here is still in the warmer because I still gotta eat dinner. And I'm, uh, actual fresh hot rice is the bomb. So I just got it, got it in the cooker still. But I will usually just take this out and then store it in the fridge with everything else. But uh, yeah, so that's the chicken and then the Brussels sprouts. And the reason I do it this way it's just, it's faster, especially if you don't tend to like eat the same amounts for each meal or if you don't eat the same amount each day, you're not really like locked into, oh, I have to eat this. So then I have to adjust this over here. So you can just get what you need and weigh that out as you go. Obviously, if I was going to um, go somewhere where I didn't have lunch, I would have to prep it out in a container to take it with me. Um, I usually prep it out in a glass glass uh prep prep uh plate dish whatever i uh, and with each meal i don't know i think i just got so used to using these for lunch like bring it to work that i just do it all the time um but yeah you can do some meals ahead of time but uh i don't know i feel like i'm wasting time my time because i'm i work from here so uh, workstation, it was already clean, so that was pretty easy. I, I did some laundry, there's still some in the dryer, but Operation Clean Bed Sheets is complete. I don't have a comforter, don't judge me. That's like, I am a person who is very simple, and I don't like sleeping with comforters because they're hot. So, since I don't actually use the comforter, I don't actually have a comforter. <laughs> if I don't use it, I don't want it. I don't like a lot of stuff. I don't like a lot of clutter. That's probably why people are like, why are you not decorating? You have nothing on your walls. Like, it's just an empty living room. And, uh, are you going to put something up? Are you going to decorate? I mean, if the mood hits me, maybe. But, uh... Ultimately, my sanctuary is the bedroom. Um, Carly still got her nasty bed over here. Charging up the boosted board, because I can finally use that now uh, to go to the gym, because it's, it's actually a lot closer than it used to be when I live in the Citrus Heights. I will take you through to see. No, I won't. Ugh. See, downside of two doors, one side's possibly locked. We'll go this way then. Uh, yeah, bathroom. I got into that trash, but hey, yeah, it's clean. Cool. I did my chores, mom. <laughs> I know you think I'm dirty, but I did them. All right. So, uh, that's it. That was my get your shit together day. I guess there's still some things that I probably need to do. Still some work to do as well, but that's the gist of it. And, uh, then tonight, I can uh, relax and uh, 
Oh, what are we doing here? Turn on the TV, maybe? And then just uh, chill, chill in bed, hopefully. And then fall asleep. Pretty simple. This is my life. This is all I need in life. Hi, okay. Kylie. Yeah? Anyways, that wraps up this video, guys. Uh, sorry it was definitely not entertaining, but I'm just trying to get myself back into some things ha after having kind of a, man, like a rough month, honestly, of anxiety. So, whew, just needed some time to recover. I'm still recovering, so I'm not going to be like, I'm back and we're going to like, yeah, I've got nothing exciting, but, um, trying to get back into the swing of things uh and the habit and man you guys like i miss <laughs> i miss making youtube videos like it's one of my favorite things to do and uh when i'm not when i'm not making youtube videos i just feel all sorts off i guess uh so i want to prioritize that uh just because it's something i enjoy so time to do some things that i enjoy instead of just you know grinding all the time but uh yeah Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And uh, peace out. I'll see you next time. Hey, you got a minute? I'm going to show you something real quick. Check it out. Hello, how y'all doing? I hope everybody doing well and staying safe. Hi Cody. I hear that you are dedicated your life to be personal trainer and helping other people changing their life and developing healthy relationship with the food and become fit and take care of themselves. Well, I want to thank you for what you're doing and I'm proud of you for your services for others. And I want to keep that and keep working hard at it because you're going to make a lot of changes in people's life. And that's going to be a wonderful. And I want to thank you for doing that on behalf of your friend and myself. So keep it up, Cody. Keep up the good work. And thank you for all you do. You take care. Bye now. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't I'm, that the coolest thing? <laughs> I know you weren't expecting that at all. I'm so confused. Like Doctor now made a video for you. No, I this gotta be like some <laughs> video. I mean anything is possible these days. No, he you, really just did that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I wrote to him and told him about you, and, um... It sounds like something you would tell your children to, like, make them believe something that's like, <laughs> not real. Oh my god, <laughs> I swear! <laughs> you don't believe it? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> now I have to tell Dr. Now to, to send you another message and be like, Cody, I really did make this message. Yeah, because electronics you know oh my god you're the worst it's, it's called a cameo <laughs> <laughs>